Hi, and thanks for watching the End Time Revival broadcast with Pastor Harold Smith. I'm your announcer, Jason Connors. The broadcast is recorded every Sunday morning at the Mark's First United Pentecostal Church, located on Academy Drive in Mark's, Mississippi. You can join the church for services every Sunday and Wednesday, or you can view past services at www.freegospelradio.com. This broadcast is made possible by the generosity of its viewers. You can help keep the broadcast going by sending your donation to Pastor Harold Smith, P.O. Box 373, Marks, Mississippi, 38646. Help us spread the word by mailing in your donation. And now, the End Time Revival broadcast with Pastor Harold Smith. Whisper. 
Lord, when I think of that awful price that you paid for me, then the trials on the solar, they just seem as nothing. seem like I'm doing anything for God. How many of y'all have ever felt like that? Lift your hand. Yeah. Well, let me just tell you. Yeah, let me just tell you this morning. Jacob was a cheater. Peter had a temper. David had an affair. Noah got drunk. Jonah ran from God. Paul was a murderer. Gideon was insecure. Miriam was a gossip. Mary was a warrior. Thomas was a doubter. Sarah was impatient. Elijah was moody. Moses stuttered. Zacchaeus was short. Abraham was old. Lazarus was dead. Now why don't you think God will use you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, that's it. God's just looking for a vessel. Come on. 
He's looking for a vessel this morning. Oh, hallelujah. While you're standing, if you'll turn to the book of 1 Peter. He said, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. And be ready always. Everybody say always. Always. To give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and with fear. Wow. He said, be ready always. You know, people say, I don't know what to tell them. But you, the Bible says, be ready always. To give an answer to the hope that's in you. We've got something in us. You can't see it. You can't taste it. But thank God you can peel it. And you know that it's there. You know it's real. Jesus said I'm with you. But I'll be in you. A well of water springing up into everlasting life. Oh, amen. Hallelujah. Woo! I want to preach to you just a few minutes this morning. I feel the Holy Ghost is strong here. Thank God. I wish somebody would go to shouting here in a little bit. Amen. Because we got a great cloud of witnesses that are, that are looking on this morning. Thank God. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. You need to shout while you can. Woo! Every time you get a chance. There's an old song that said something, I'm going to worship him every time I get a chance. Amen. Because I may not have the chance very long. Amen. You better worship him. You better shout. You better talk in tongues. You better ask God to give you spiritual strength. Thank God because you're going to have some days of darkness in your life. Amen. But I'm going to tell you something. To every man that looks for it, God has got an answer. Couldn't we praise him? Woo! I said, couldn't we praise him? Oh, come on. Let's get a hold of this this morning. I don't care what the devil told you. Before you come here, you, you, you can shout. Amen. You say, well, the devil said, I'm not worthy. Amen. There ain't none of us worthy but the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. But he said we could shout his name. We could praise him. We could glorify him. And he would come down and meet our needs. Amen. Well, you can tell about how I'm feeling this morning. Hallelujah. Thank God. Ooh. Looking for an answer. You may be seated. Looking for an answer. If you would, turn with me to the book of Luke, the 18th chapter. It says, a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He was a sincere young fellow. Uh, he was a sincere man. You know, we always said the rich young ruler. But uh, I got to talking to a preacher yesterday. And Randy, I don't believe he could have been all that young. Uh, unless he inherited all that money. Because uh, it takes you a while to get rich. Amen. Amen. It takes you a while. Amen. I, I've already started on my fourth million because I missed out on the other three. And uh, they, uh, but uh, uh, he came to the Lord looking for an answer. Hallelujah to God. He said, Good Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said, Why call me thou good? None is good save one that is God. He told him, he said, Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. And, and you notice this man was a good man. 
Uh, he uh, had a lot of good points about him. There was a lot of good things about him. But Jesus said, he told Lord, he said, Oh, Lord, I'm in like plan. He said, I've done all of this since I was a young man. Amen. But Jesus said, Oh, but I'm still going to give you the answer. You don't have the answer yet. Uh, he said, Go and sell all that thou hast and distribute to the poor and come and follow me. Hallelujah to God. Oh, that's it. Amen. Come on. Yes. And the Bible said, At this he became very sorrowful. Amen. You know, the, I've never had noticed that before, but if you look at that scripture, there's two berries in there. He was very sorrowful, and he was very rich. Amen. And the more, the more riches you got, uh, the more you have to mind how to keep them, and the less it seems like that you'll concentrate on the will of God. Hallelujah to God. He got an answer. He got the answer he was looking for. But it wasn't what he wanted. That's it. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. The world today is looking. I was studying the other day. And uh, the world is looking for an answer. They're looking for the antichrist. They're wondering who's going to be the antichrist. And who's going to be the false prophet? And uh, and the whole world. Uh, and listen, uh, that word antichrist there, you that keeps notes, that word antichrist there means one who opposes or takes the place of Christ. And uh, 1 John 4 and 3, he tells us about it. He said, and every spirit, now notice this, Every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. That's right. That's right. What that's saying in our vernacular, if you don't know the truth about who Jesus is, that He is God manifest in the flesh, Hallelujah, that the Bible said, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God, and the 14th verse said, and the Word, our God, was made flesh and dwelt among us. Amen, come on. So here John was saying, if you don't know this, if you don't know this, this only comes by revelation. Isn't that wonderful? Thank God you can't go to enough colleges to learn who Jesus is. Amen. You can't go to enough seminaries. Amen. But I want to tell you something. To him that seeketh, he said in the day that you seek me with your whole heart, he said I'll be found. You're going to get an answer. Oh, Glory. Oh, Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Let's praise Him. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you. We love you. Praise your holy name, Jesus. And so John said that this spirit is not of God, but it's the spirit of Antichrist. Whew. Whereof you have heard that it should come. Now this was 2,000 years ago. He said, where you have heard that it should come. But John said, the spirit of Antichrist is already in the world. That's it, amen. Come on, yes sir. So this, this Antichrist spirit has been in the world for 2,000 years. And then again in 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter... Notice what he said here. Boy, this got a hold of me when I got to study. You know, the world says they're looking for an answer, but they're not looking for an answer. Amen. If you're looking to him that seeketh, he shall find. To him that knocketh, thou dost she know my The door shall be open unto him. Amen. Come on. Woo. Oh, yes. Lord Amen. have mercy. I don't know. He was sitting still out there like that. Come on, brother. Thank God. And. He's talking about the Antichrist in 2 Thessalonians. And he said, Then shall that wicked be revealed, 
whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. Notice now, this is the kicker. Because they received not a love. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. Listen. Because they received not a love for the truth. Come on. Ooh, hallelujah to God. That's the reason that so many of them, they can shout all at them church programs and, and, and they can holler and kick up their heels and have their uh, britches on and their uh, ear bobs on and all of that stuff on that paraphernalia and uh, the necklaces hanging around their necks and ear bobs on their ears and nose jewels and, and all of that. And, uh, they do them just like they did when they danced around the golden cave. Hallelujah to God. But I'm going to tell you something today. Amen. If you want to find Him, you got to seek Him with all of your heart. Woo! And you got to love this truth. Hallelujah. He said, let every man. Woo! Hallelujah. He said, let every man be a liar. That's it. Come on. Do you hear what I said? He said, let every man be a liar. But God is truth. Hallelujah. You got to love. He said, because they they received not a love for the truth. That's it. Come on. That they might be saved. Woo! That they might be saved. And listen, for this cause, because they didn't have a love for the truth, because they didn't want truth in their life. Woo! Listen, I'm going to tell you something. You may look around this morning and say, oh, I wonder why we're so small. But I'm going to tell you something. There's a lot of these churches are full today, and they've not got God a hundred miles from there. Amen. Brother, they don't want the truth, and God will never dwell where there's no truth. You better hear me this morning. God will not dwell where there's no truth. Amen. That's it. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And for this cause, God. Oh, this is heavy this morning. How many of y'all feel this in here? I'm going to tell you the Holy Ghost is just all over this place. Amen. For this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. That's the reason you find all these charismatic churches. Amen. That they once walked in the truth. They once walked upright. They shouted. They had the word of God. Amen. You could tell what they was. And now, amen, they're less than nothing. Amen. They're walking with the pig pen. Amen. They're walking in the pig pen with the pigs. They went back to the beggarly elements of this world. But Jesus said... I'm going to have a church, and that church is going to be called out. It's going to be called. It's going to be chosen. And in the last days, they're going to worship me and lift me up. Hallelujah. Oh, he ain't never done me. Hallelujah. What would it take to get y'all to, to get up and dance a little bit for the Lord or something? Amen. I wish I had a four pumper. I'd stick it under a couple of y'all's seats this morning. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Thank God. You know why that Jesus is going to send them a strong delusion? He's going to, because they didn't love the truth and because they had pleasure. 
in unrighteousness. And then Paul said in 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter, he said, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. I, I want to tell you this morning, you might want to write this down. I, I'm so full of this this morning. Amen. God's got a time clock. He doesn't live in time. He lives in eternity. Amen. Did you hear what I said? And he came out. He came out of eternity into time to be born in a manger. Hallelujah to God. And then when he hung on that cross, amen, he went back into eternity. Thank God. Hallelujah. To someday take us out of time into eternity with him. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God's got a time clock. He tells us about time. And he said uh, in Galatians, he said, when the fullness of time was come. Hallelujah. God sent forth his son. Made of a woman. Made under the law. And then Paul said, let no man deceive you. Now notice, we're looking for an answer today. I don't know about you, but I want an answer. Hallelujah. I, I want some answers. Hallelujah. Thank God, I want some answers. Brother, God will not keep His people in the dark. Thank God if you seek Him. I said if you seek Him, you'll find Him. Woo! Let's glorify Him this morning. Hallelujah. 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 Paul said, let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come. Everybody say it won't come. Everybody look at your neighbor and say it won't come. That day shall not come. Except there come a falling away first. That's it. Come on. Amen. Could you look around you? Could you look look around you? Could you see that we're in the falling away? Yes, sir. Amen. People are falling away so fast. They're just falling away. Hey, God, if you got if you got the Holy Ghost this morning, you've been baptized in Jesus' name, you better hold on to it with all of your might. You better say, let the storms come. Let the wind blow. They may shake me. They may rock me. They may knock me down. But Jesus said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll go with you. Always. Woo! Always. Always. Even to the end of the world. Come on, Pastor. Hallelujah. 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 He said, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed. I, I got news for you this morning. I don't care. I've made up my mind. I don't care what he sins. I don't care what he does. I don't care if I got to crawl the rest of the way. I don't care if I got to eat humble pie every day. I don't care if I stay poor the rest of my life. I love him too much to turn around. I'm like Polycarp. They told him, they said, you're an old man, 85 years old. Said if you'll denounce Jesus, we won't burn you at the stake. We'll let you die an old man in your bed. He looked at him. He said, 85, 86 years, all these years, I've served him. And like Randy saying something, sometimes he ain't never. Polycarp said he ain't never done me nothing but good how could I deny him and as the fire burned the ropes that they had him tied he lifted his hands and praised the Lord into eternity thank God hallelujah are you looking for an answer 
you know, sometimes you get, sometimes you get discouraged. How many of you ever got discouraged? Sometimes you don't know where you're going to turn. How many of you ever felt like that? Every time you try to go forward, you'd hit a stone wall. John the Baptist, one of the greatest men that ever lived. That day when he was baptizing in Jordan, he looked up and saw Jesus coming. And he said, Behold, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. But if you look a little later at John, he was in prison about to get his head chopped off. No doubt discouraged, disheartened. He said to of his disciples, to Jesus, now this is the man that said, Behold the Lamb of God. He said to of his disciples, and he said, Go and ask him, Is he the one? Or do we look for another? Woo! He was looking for an answer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes you get discouraged, but all you have to do is look for an answer. In the day that you seek me with your whole heart, I'll be found. You can rest assured, God will be there when you seek Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, amen, amen. John was looking for an answer. Would you stand with me this morning? John was looking for an answer. He said, are you the one? Are you the one? Or do we look for another? Jesus told his disciples, said, you go tell John, the sick are healed, the lame walk, the dead are raised, and the poor have the gospel preached. Thank God if you're looking for an answer, Today, you've come to the right place. If you really want an answer today, if you don't know why you're going through what you're going through, if you're really looking for an answer, you'll find it here today. At the foot of the cross, you'll find your answer. At the foot of the cross. Thank God, that old rugged cross. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful every day of my life for that one drop of blood that spilled down from that cross covered me. Thank God. Hallelujah. How many of you this morning you feel like you need an answer today? Amen. Oh, hallelujah. I'm going to give you a chance to come this morning. I want you to come. Seek for an answer. They said on the day of Pentecost, How what 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 must we do to be saved? Peter stood up with the eleven. He said, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises unto you and your children all are afar off that's it come on I saw a flower bloom where there was no rain or sun 